this video, I'm going to show you how to use Google Policy to push the office to all the domain joined users. Let's just uh, log in to our server first. Okay. After we log in, we go to our server. I've already uploaded uh, the Office in installation file into the server. I will create another tutorial how to like uh, install Office 365 offline. We're gonna add it to this uh, configuration XML file. This is like a 32 bit. Let's uncommon these uh, three lines. This one, this one. And then we're gonna remove this uh, visual. We don't need this. Okay. So that's the XM file. We're gonna use the script uh, to run later. We also created a install office 365.bat. Let's use the let's copy this path and then change this uh, install office 365 BAT file. We need to make sure this path can be accessed via the UNC pass. And we need to run the setup.exe and also we should be able to access the configuration Office 365 XML. That's the two that's the that's the one we just uh, modified before. So basically this script uh, will check under the path if uh, there's already have the office installed if not then it will just uh, run the offline installation okay next we are gonna like a uh, check uh, how we're gonna apply this uh, group policy we can apply to to user uh, previously we created a one unit organization called manage the users okay we have a domain administrator this group and uh, we have one user test and okay it's all good And then we're gonna apply our policy using the group policy management. Okay. Okay. Expand, expand. That's our domain. Okay. Make it bigger and we go to the user configuration Windows settings scripts log on and off double click it and add bro we're gonna find the script 
the .bat file we created. Use the UNC path. That's the script that we're gonna run every time when the user log log on. Click apply, okay. Okay, so I think we can do the testing. That's the Windows 10 machine joined to the domain. Okay, so we just uh, log it on. Okay, cool. So the script uh, seems working. It will check the path and if it uh, doesn't detect uh, the office has been installed, it will run the offline installation files from the shared uh, folder. So we don't need to download it from the online every time we can also check this uh, from the task manager and uh, to see if it's uh, running or not okay let's check our task manager Okay, I can see the Microsoft Office click to run is running and the CPU is like uh, maximized and the disk is like uh, around the 60 megabyte per second so which it means uh, the installation is running and we just need to wait until it's finished then we have our office package okay we can see we got our office installed already thank you for watching see you next time